TGIF Tech fans, it's DT Daily Time. I'm Casey Montoya. Today, Facebook launches its new App Center. High-resolution Retina apps appear ahead of Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. Canon unveils a new Rebel T4i DSLR, a new graphics engine that gives us a look at the future of video games and more. Discovering new apps on Facebook just got easier. The social network announced Thursday the launch of its new App Center for users in the U.S. The App Center organizes Facebook apps into a variety of categories, including genre, top-rated, trending, and top-grossing. Users can also check out which friends have installed an app and which apps friends have used recently. Facebook users can access the App Center via the web or through the social network's iOS or Android applications, which could provide some added competition to Apple's App Store and the Google Play app marketplace. Ahead of Apple's 2012 Worldwide Developers Conference, which kicks off Monday in San Francisco, a number of Mac-only apps have begun to release updates that will allow them to work on high-resolution retina displays, all but confirming rumors that at least some Mac computers will receive the super high-definition screens. Other rumors suggest Apple will release an all-new MacBook line that will be thinner than the MacBook Pro, but thicker than the ultra-portable MacBook Air and sport a 13 or 15-inch Retina display. Canon debuted today its newest digital SLR, the Rebel T4i. The 18-megapixel T4i offers a hybrid CMOS sensor and improved autofocus functionality compared to its predecessor, the T3i, which should make shooting video on the T4i even easier. In addition, the T4i also includes a new multi-touch LCD display. Canon also revealed a new 18 to 135 millimeter STM lens and a 40 millimeter pancake prime lens. Both lenses and the T4i will ship later this month. Customers can pick up the T4i with the new 18 to 135 millimeter lens for about $1,200. The technology that could power the next generation of video games has arrived. Created by Epic Games, the Unreal Engine 4 will allow game developers to create far more rich, detailed, and realistic 3D graphics than has been possible until now. While Epic makes its own games, like the popular Gears of War, the company will license the use of its new graphics engine to other game makers, which means the technology could push the entire video game industry forward. In other tech news, food and beverage operator OTG will begin installing 7,000 iPads at its dining locations in three international airports in North America. New York's LaGuardia, Minneapolis St. Paul, and Toronto Pearson International Airport. OTG says the iPad rollout is just the beginning. Facebook has agreed to turn over private user data to courts in the UK as part of a cyberbullying case. Privacy advocates fear Facebook's compliance will result in less protection for users. And finally, Apple has filed a broad patent for the wedge design of its MacBook Air laptop, which experts believe will make it much more difficult for designers of the competing Ultrabook laptops to not infringe on Apple's intellectual property. That's it for this week. While you're waiting for the Rebel T4i, be sure to check back this weekend for our review of Canon's new PowerShot D20. It's a tough waterproof camera that will shoot some great photos anywhere you dare to take it. And if you're planning to hit theaters this weekend, make sure to read our full review of Prometheus later today.